Green schists are metamorphic rocks that formed under the lowest temperatures and pressures usually produced by regional metamorphism, typically 300 to 450 degrees Celsius, 570 to 840 degrees Fahrenheit, and 2 to 10 kilobars, 14,500 to 58,000 psi. Green schists commonly have an abundance of green minerals such as chlorite, serpentine, and epidote, and platy minerals such as muscovite and platy serpentine. The platinus causes the tendency to split, or have schistosity. Other common minerals include quartz, orthoclase, talc, carbonate minerals and amphibole, actinolite. Green schist is a general field petrologic term for metamorphic or altered mafic volcanic rock. In Europe, the term prasinite is sometimes used. A greenstone is sometimes a greenschist but can also be rock types without any schistosity, especially metabasalt, spilite or picrite. The green is due to abundant green chlorite, actinolite and epidote minerals that dominate the rock. However, basalts may remain quite black if primary pyroxene does not revert to chlorite or actinolite. To qualify for the name a rock must also exhibit schistosity or some foliation or layering. The rock is derived from basalt, gabbro or similar rocks containing sodium-rich plagioclase feldspar, chlorite, epidote and quartz. Topic. Petrology Green schist, as a rock type, is defined by the presence of the minerals chlorite and actinolite and may contain albite or epidote. Green schist often has a lepidoblastic, nematoblastic or schistose texture defined primarily by chlorite and actinolite. Green schists often have some foliation resulting in mineral alignment, especially of chlorite and actinolite. Grain size is rarely coarse, due primarily to the mineral assemblage. Chlorite and to a lesser extent actinolite typically exhibit small, flat or acicular crystal habits. Topic. Green schist facies Green schist facies is determined by the particular temperature and pressure conditions required to metamorphose basalt to form the typical green schist facies minerals chlorite, actinolite, and albite. Green schist facies results from low temperature, moderate pressure metamorphism. Metamorphic conditions which create typical green schist facies assemblages are called the Barovian facies sequence, and the lower pressure Abukuma facies series. Temperatures of approximately 400 to 500 degrees Celsius 750 to 930 degrees Fahrenheit and depths of about 8 to 50 kilometers 5 to 31 miles are the typical envelope of green schist facies rocks. The equilibrium mineral assemblage of rocks subjected to green schist facies conditions depends on primary rock composition. Basalt, chlorite plus actinolite plus albite plus or minus epidote. Ultramafic, chlorite plus serpentine plus or minus talc plus or minus tremolite plus or minus diopside plus or minus brucite. Polites, quartz plus or minus albite plus or minus K feldspar plus or minus chlorite, muscovite, garnet, pyrophyllite plus or minus graphite. Calc silicates, calcite plus or minus dolomite plus or minus quartz plus or minus micas, scapolite, willastonite, etc. In greater detail, the greenschist facies is subdivided into subgreenschist, lower and upper greenschist. Lower temperatures are transitional with and overlap the prenite pumpelite facies, and higher temperatures overlap with and include sub amphibolite facies. If burial continues along Barovian sequence metamorphic trajectories, greenschist facies gives rise to amphibolite facies assemblages, dominated by amphibole and eventually to granulite facies. Lower pressure, normally contact metamorphism produces albite epidote hornfuls while higher pressures at great depth produces eclogite. 
Oceanic basalts in the vicinity of mid-ocean ridges typically exhibit sub-greenschist alteration. The greenstone belts of the various Archean cratons are commonly altered to the greenschist facies. These ancient rocks are noted as host rocks for a variety of ore deposits in Australia, Namibia and Canada. Greenschist-like rocks can also be formed under blueschist facies conditions if the original rock, protolith, contains enough magnesium. This explains the scarcity of blueschist preserved from before the Neoproterozoic era 1000 ma ago when the Earth's oceanic crust contained more magnesium than today's oceanic crust. Topic. Use Topic. Europe In Minoan Crete, greenschist and blueschist were used to pave streets and courtyards between 1650 and 1600 BC. These rocks were likely quarried in Agia Pelagia on the north coast of central Crete. Across Europe, greenschist rocks have been used to make axes. Several sites, including Great Langdale in England, have been identified. Topic: Eastern North America. A form of chlorite schist was popular in prehistoric Native American communities for the production of axes and celts, as well as ornamental items. In the Middle Woodland period, greenschist was one of the many trade items that were part of the Hopewell Culture Exchange Network, sometimes transported over thousands of kilometers. During the time of the Mississippian culture, the polity of Moundville apparently had some control over the production and distribution of greenschist. The Moundville source has been shown to be from two localities in the Hillaby Formation of Central and Eastern Alabama. Topic. See also Metamorphism List of rock types List of minerals Pounamu, another type of rock frequently called greenstone.